video. What up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you on the road. We got to drive downtown for another day at Jury Duty today. It's all about SummerSlam. We're bringing it back. I can't believe it. The people over at WWE, uh, wait a minute, hold on. WrestlingDVDNews.com. I don't think I will ever get used to calling them that. They will always be WWE DVD News to me. Have uh, dug down deep and they have found the uh, SummerSlam poster uh, leaking out the official main event of the show. Of course, everything is subject to change. John Cena could lose an arm tomorrow, or Brock Lesnar could go out hunting and be eaten by a bear or something like that. But it looks like we're actually going to get Cena versus Brock. This is the match that I was talking about the other day when I was predicting Cena to win. Uh, the money in the bank to give us that sexy main event they're going in at SummerSlam. That honestly is, I think, the biggest match WWE could give us right now. I think that, you know, last year, uh, you know, we really had the big push of Daniel Bryan, uh, how he, you know, he was the first guy to ever pin a member of the Shield, how he was the uh, um, first uh, first time he you know, came on Monday Night Raw and beat a, a major star like Randy Orton, where they did the big angle where, uh, he jumped outside into the breaker boards and he got the stinger and uh, uh, Triple H stopped the match, uh, basically saying that he wasn't going to be able to compete, which led to an almost altercation in the back between Daniel Bryan and Triple H, which was uh, sort of big news at the time and everybody knew about that. Uh, you know, Daniel had never had one of his matches stop before he knew he could continue and he wouldn't know why WWE would step in and, and, and tell him that he couldn't. Um, he, He's had everything from, you know, a detached retina to, you know, you know breaking bones and everything in the ring. And he's always been able to at least finish, you know, what he started. But uh, Cena versus Brock is going to be a big one. Honestly, when it comes down to it, you know, uh, especially with the whole, you know, thing going down, that um, Brock's going to want to get that win back, you know, with, uh, with Lesnar always coming around saying the 1-21-1. and 21 and one. Um, I'm sort of going to have my uh, argument broke for myself because right now I was going to say that Cena is the only guy to beat Brock, but I just remember that at WrestleMania, Triple H beat Brock, and then basically Triple H got his ass whooped at <laughs> the next pay-per-view uh, at, at, at Extreme Rules in the Steel Cage match. But, uh, uh, you know, Brock said I want to get that back. I think that that was honestly a mistake right off the bat for WWE to, to have, you know, John Cena beat uh, Brock Lesnar. I don't know if that was uh, John stepping in and saying he wanted to win the fight or if it was just WWE and Vince McMahon trying to, you know, poke their chest out and try to show Dana White that their guys are tougher. Uh, honestly, when Brock went uh, to UFC after he left um, WWE and he was able to win the championship, that was some good ammunition for us wrestling fans because... A lot of the true, you know, UFC fans, you know, they like to say that their stuff's real and that, you know, there's no, you know, determined outcomes or storylines or anything like that. It's just two dudes getting into the octagon, beat the piss out of each other, and one guy comes out the winner. That's why they like what they like. But, um, you know, when a guy who is champion of WWE goes over there and proves uh, that he is one of the toughest men in the world and that he could... Uh, you know, beat all of their guys, you know, they really don't have a whole lot to throw back in our face. Uh, I know a lot of people who sort of thanked me <laughs> for him being so badass in UFC, of course, becoming the poster boy, but I'm pumped. Uh, I know a lot of people out there are thinking that Access is, uh, you know, dead. I, I really am still believing. I'm still pulling through saying, you know, hey, um, there's going to be something good for us, you know, if not access. You know, I'm, I'm definitely still thinking that Sunday access is still a doable deal. Um, Saturday, maybe they can do something. I just don't see them bringing all those people who bought the package down on a Friday afternoon, checking into their hotel room and saying, all right, you guys be good now. I'll see you on Sunday morning. There's got to be something, if not anything. You know, debut that freaking Miz movie at that movie theater down the street. We'll go buy movie tickets and we'll uh, watch the movie with Miz and Summer Rae. I don't know. Uh, there's got to be something. Uh, a lot of brake lights ahead. This is not good. I left late today. I left uh, really late today. <laughs> I was supposed to leave at 8. And I got in my truck. It was 8.24. 
I'll still get there on time. It'll just suck trying to find a place to park. But uh, Cena versus uh, Brock SummerSlam. I know uh, a lot of people that are going to this show. It's going to be a ton of fun. Click reunion going down at the slam. Peace out, everybody.